of The Walking Dead, the final season. This is episode two. Um, we are going to jump straight into it um, and just phew, hit the ground running. There's nothing else to be said. Episodes, episode two, start episode two. So, uh, if you missed it last time, previously uh, on The Walking Dead, AJ shot somebody. AJ and in I had been searching for a long time for some right place we could call episode. home. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. That could have been the end. But I woke up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin. The leader of a community living inside an old boarding school. It felt like a chance at having a home, a real one. We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. When AJ distracted him, I shoved him into a pack of walkers. I found Marlon and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen. And I learned why Brody was so afraid. Yep. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlon traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. He attacked Brody yeah, that... and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlon stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. Lewis backed me up. With everyone against him, the fight went out of Marlon. I told him he could stay, but he couldn't be our leader. But then... Marlin was dead, and AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I'd taught him. To save the last bullet for himself. Yeah. <laughs> now what?
I made you some coffee. It was in the kitchen. Tin said that I can have some. I didn't steal it. <sighs> I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. You put it in hot water. You're right. Thanks. Last night, with Marlon, I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Am I a murderer? Yes. Yes, you're a little murdering son of a no! bitch. No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead. The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. You promised Marlin. You said you'd help him fix things. What the fuck did you teach this kid? To protect himself at all costs. Lewis called me a murderer. But, but we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Did I do it bad? I thought Marlin was bad. He killed Brody. He, he kept telling lies. Clem, please just tell me. If I'm a murderer... Damn it. I was too I, slow. I should know, right? So, so that I can try not to be your... Lewis was wrong. What you did was justified. Justified? It means you had a good reason for doing it. I was justified. What are we going to do? Back off, all of you! It was under control! I talked Marlin down, then he murdered my fucking friend! Take AJ, go inside. Come on, let's go. Oh, just let them go back to the dorms? What happens the next time one of us does something this kid doesn't like? Should we expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. It's exactly what happened. It was over. The little Mr. Trigger Happy decided otherwise. Marlin started this. He killed Brody and almost got me too. AJ did what he had to do. What he had to? He didn't have to shoot Marlin in the fucking skull! It was over! You get it, Lewis. Just back off, okay? Back off? Seriously? Let's go. Clem? Clem? They better not call me a monster. They were scared of me, even though Marlin was the bad guy. I'm not scary. I wasn't... I didn't act like a monster. I stopped a monster. I know you're not. We just need to prove it to them. I'll tell them they're wrong. They'll know when someone explains it to them. Like you explain things to me. <laughs> AJ, come sit with me. We've got nothing to apologize for. You saved me and them from a monster. They'll see that. We'll make them. Yeah. <laughs> For God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Save you from that car wreck, and you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? <clears throat> Screw both of you. What do you expect? Threaten him, threaten hey, me with a knife? What is it? You've killed a lot of people. You told me your friend Lee became a monster. Why didn't you stop him? He didn't want me to. He said it would change me forever. But I know he. He became a monster. Do you wish you did? Yeah, every day. I love you, Clem. 
I love you back. All right. Okay, now we get to deal with the other people. Hey. Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave Ooh, last night. Five people watching Like a firefighter. Tonight. Welcome, everyone. What are those? Drawings for Marlon and Brody. It's mm. of stuff they wanted. I'm going to put them on their graves. graves. Cool. They don't need them. Sure. They're dead. They're not going to get that stuff. That's not why you do it. It's a sweet idea, Ten. They'll look really nice on the graves. Thank you. Yeah, that's kind of the problem. Have fun with, with your firefighter, AJ. okay? Can we play with after. them later? Sure. Yeah, no. After the funeral. Frame they of reference them already. for anything. The file started soon. See you out there. All he's ever known is killing zombies and running this is from gonna zombies suck. and scrounging They're gonna say for food. a lot of things about Marlin and Brody. Some true, some not. Let's just get through it without upsetting everybody, okay? Okay, I'll try. Yeah, don't let that good coffee go to waste, man. Hey, AJ, where's that toy Ten just gave you? Let's show it off with the rest of our stuff. Yeah. I like all our stuff. Display your goods. Ten thinks I'm brave. I'm going to make everyone else think so, too. Sounds good. All right, and we've got our pictures over here. They look good together. Do you think his is better? No, I like them both. <laughs> and we got our plastic flowers. Our cat skull. <laughs> Still cool. And our deer skull. Woohoo! All right. Go to the funeral. Ready? Oh, what about your hat? I didn't... I forgot her hat. <laughs> yes, I know. He's a kid. Of course he's shaped. By what you teach him. A few people these days that could, uh to learn that lesson. Oh, God. They're here. So what? They knew Brody, didn't they? Yeah, but Marlin... Just leave them alone. <sighs> Shit. Clem? What? <clears throat> Why do people have funerals? Tin said they used to have them more. They died. But I don't get it. Well, to say goodbye to someone you've lost. <sighs> but they're dead. Brody. This is your last chance to see them before they're gone she forever. It's kind of like they're playing pretend. Pretending Marlon didn't do all the bad stuff he did. 
Let's just get through this. Does everyone get a funeral? People do. Some animals, too. Even monsters. <laughs> Think of it as Brody's funeral, not Marlon's. But they're talking about both of them. Ten. You ready? Yeah, it's for both of them. Brody. I'm sure the guy had you always said you wanted to go to the beach. So, also, I drew it for you. Gave Ten's sisters away to some... Marlin was... Raiders. I think we can all guess what I happened can't. to him. Not for Marlin. Well, exactly. Go After what he to did to the twins and Brody. To the you didn't even them. like Brody. You were always mean to her. I can't. Someone else do it. Bitch. Dude, don't. Seriously, Lewis. He was your best friend. He wasn't perfect, but he deserved better than to get gunned down by that kid. He just killed him like it was nothing. I don't appreciate your tone, Mitch. Yeah? Well, I don't appreciate your kid murdering my friend. I... I was justified. Clem told me. Fuck, I can't listen to this. Damn, that's... shit. That's what you told him? That what he did was... was okay? We can't. Wait. We should talk this out. Talk about what? He murdered our friend! You all need to grow the hell up. People die. It happens all the time. And the rest, they move on. Move on? And just let you get away with what AJ did? See what I mean? How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? I'm saying they gotta fucking go. Take a vote. Majority decides. They stay or they leave. Today. Fine. That does seem fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. You're bullshit. I don't want to leave. But if you all decide we should, we'll go. Clem. You heard her, kid. A vote's the only way to settle this or we'll be arguing forever. Fine. I guess we're fucking voting. Lewis needs to vote. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him. Come on, Rosie. Come here, girl. Alrighty. Could you guys go wait in the dorm? I'll come get you. Sure. That way I can put her hat on. Please don't kick us out. Come on, let's go. Anybody that would give people a way to save their own ass, I got no sympathy for. As far as I'm concerned, AJ, yeah, it was a little bit after the fact, but, uh, kind of justified. Plus, he had just killed somebody. So, you know, having all Sometimes kinds of sympathy for Marlon is exactly it's right on their me. part either. He, Sometimes he I don't know he got the reason in why. So turn. I guess I'll so. keep gambling lots of moves and lots of rails. Well, it's easier than just a way to him to die. I don't know, Luby. Let me know what you think. I th I think he he kind of did the right thing. You know, murdering piece of shit that gave away two little girls to a bunch of grown men. Um. And tried to murder Clem. By way of zombie. As far as I'm concerned, world's better off without him. Huh. 
AJ, stop. You'll break your toe or something. Come here, sit down. No. It didn't work. I did what you said and they didn't even care. Marlon was bad. I tried to tell them, but they wouldn't even listen at all. AJ, breathe. Remember what we do when we're mad? Come on, I don't want to be loud, do you? What do we do when we're mad? We stop and think and, um... I'm still really, really mad. I know that I'm not supposed to get mad or sad because then I do dumb things. And you have every reason to be upset. We'll deal with it together, okay? okay. Yeah. We stop, we think, and we breathe. Breathe. Feel better? <laughs> You're still mad, huh? And, uh, I think I'm sad too. That is definitely understandable. I did what you told me. Somebody dropped out. I know. You're a good listener. I wanted to show them I was right. Like you said. It didn't yeah, work. But why'd you tell me to do that? You're looking it didn't at work? it from a completely different perspective, kid. I thought they would listen to us. I didn't realize it. I didn't know how bad it would be. I mean, it's my when fault they, found they out got they angry. Gave away ten but they sisters. hate me. They don't hate you. And killed Brody. Mm, I think they hate us both. I don't want to go. I know you don't. I like knowing where we are all the time. The bed, the food. I like the other kids. Not all of them, but Tin and Lewis and Violet. And... We took the vote. You have to leave. Don't we get to vote? I vote that we stay. That's not how it works. Maybe it should be. You don't have to like it. Good, because I don't. Fine. I get it. We'll learn to live with your decision somehow. Seriously? That's it? You know this is fucking wrong, and you're not going to fight it at all? What's the point? You've already decided. Yes, we have. So fucking stupid. You said you'd go along with it, if we voted fairly. It's bullshit. And you'd know it if you weren't so used to burying your head in the sand. Oh, yeah. I'm burying my head in the sand? Hate Marlin all you want, but you can't tell me AJ isn't dangerous too. We'll wait for you to pack up, then Lewis and I will escort you out past the safe zone. I'll make sure you get to the road safely. It's not a lot, but at least you won't die on the way. We could have happily dumped you outside the gates. We won't be safe once you leave us out there. We'll last a few days, maybe, if we're lucky. Then it's back to running, hiding, and trying not to die. You'll still be doing better than Marlin and Brody. Once Where's again. Tin? I gotta say goodbye. He was really upset about the vote, and he's not talking to anybody. It's best to leave him alone when he's like this, but for the record, he wanted you to stay. Wait. Does AJ still have that gun? Hand it over. Is this necessary? Hell yes, it's necessary. 
Give it to him. I might need it. AJ, now. Fuck. Mm -hmm. There. Happy? Can we go? <laughs> Alrighty. I have a feeling we're not leaving. It's actually uh, not going to work that way, but I might be wrong. Seems to me more like we're about to get attacked and they kind of forget about making us leave when they need the extra body to kill bad guys. Funny how people are uh, do that, but maybe not. Maybe not. I might be wrong. Looks like we're outside the gates. So okay. Will we get another car? Probably not. We got lucky before. So we're walking. My shoes are gonna break. Well, we'll have to hope they hold out. My feet are gonna bleed again. We'll tear up a shirt and tie them up if we have to. It's not so bad. I mean, you've done this before. Probably pretty good at it by now. Almost like going home for you guys. You've lived inside walls your whole life. You have no fucking idea what it's like out there. We're here. The road's that way. Anything you want to say before we go? I've said plenty. Thanks mm -hmm. for trying to keep us. You're welcome. I wish you could stay. I didn't want this. Come on, let's just go. Give us a minute, would you? If you really feel that way, take us back. Don't let them kick us out. I can't, Clem. Half of them are convinced you're as bad as Marlin or worse. If you came back, someone else might get hurt. I... I can't risk it, I'm sorry. Hmm. Okay, give us back the gun, at least. I must be stupid. I can't leave you out here, unarmed. Thanks. One round, I think, is all they've got. Let's get going. The sun will set soon. How do you know? I don't know. I can just feel it. How? There's this cold that settles on my skin. It happens right before a storm, too. I don't feel that. Hmm. You haven't been on the road as long as me. Yeah, kid. Clem? Hmm? Will we be okay? I thought we were done running from all the bad people. And the monsters. We'll find someplace new. Someplace better. I'll try not to mess it up. couple of you on the road. How long do you think you can hide? Oh, shit. That's the man from the train station? Yes. I thought he died. You can survive a bite if you cut it off fast enough. Ugh. Stay here.
too slow on Stay here. Tough little bitch, aren't you? Closer, your friend might get her head blown off. Abel. Good to see you again, Squirt. Uh, don't! I've seen these ones before. Fighters. Both of them. You'll like them. We're looking for a kid. Runs a community near here. Marlon. Uh, he's dead. Well, shit. This can still work. How about it? You want to take us back to your school? Help us talk to your friends? It's not like you have many other options. <sighs> Come on, kid. We don't want to be out here all day. It's not my school. I don't live there. <gasps> I find that very hard to believe. Not a lot of kid communes around here. Ah! Don't! Ah! <sighs> Let him go, please! Sure, if you do like we ask. Otherwise, I'm happy to crack his head open. You ever seen old fruit explode after you throw it at something? That's just All how right. it'll look. Uh, uh, Clementine! Oh my god. Clementine, it's you? I... My name is Lily. You probably don't remember me. It's been a while. I remember. Really? I thought you died. I came close. What the hell? Now. <sighs> Lee isn't with you. So he's dead then. He was kind to me. Even after I shot that guy. Doug. Lee should have never let me stay with the group. It was too easy to steal the RV and leave. He had too much faith in other people. Probably why he kept you around. Probably why he didn't make it. Same thing will happen to you. If you repeat his mistakes. Your little boy there. You'll die protecting him. You may be able to keep this up a while longer, but eventually he'll slow you down. A walker you didn't spot. A bullet you couldn't dodge. A desperate cry for help that brings the herd. I don't think so. AJ knows how to handle himself. He's got spirit, I'll give you that. But you and I know that won't be enough. Fuck, we don't have time for all this. We've got history. Great. You know her, I know her. Point is, we've got a job to do. We can help you raise that boy, Clementine. But we need you to do something for us. What? Help you kidnap a couple more kids? We don't need a couple. We need all of you. We'll take you back to the Delta to join our people. We have walls, we have working solar panels, and we grow our own food. All we need from you is to go back to your friends and convince them to come peacefully. No one will be harmed. I'm not Why Marlin. do you even give a fuck? Here's what I'll do. I'll take the little squirt here right now. <clears throat> that way... I'm sure you'll play nice. Be smart about this, Clementine. It's an us or them kind of world, Clem. If you want to save your little one, you won't pick them. Shoot!
getting all the ammo. And how's he reloading it one handed? Right, I forgot about the guy with the mask. Uh, 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 
Death. Get the shrapnel out. Me? I'll keep him still. Using the same knife you just killed a bunch of dead with? Doesn't seem smart to me. There. Stop the bleeding. It's okay, AJ. He's just gonna patch you up. It's enough for now. All right. Whoa, whoa. Easy, easy. Where's our stuff? My gun. We lost it, buddy. Lewis got shot. I saw. They saved us. Yeah, they did. Shit. <laughs> Get him over by the fire. <clears throat> I didn't mean to endanger you. The walkers were sent to help you. You sent the walkers? Was part of a group. Call themselves Whisperers. They've learned to live in herds, among walkers. Move among them. Sometimes guide them. Very interesting. Why are you alone, if you were part of a group? They attacked a community. Saw the carnage. Didn't want to be part of it. Mm -hmm. oh, does it hurt? To attack Hungry. The oh, thank you. Eat, both of you. Thank you. <sighs> Do you have a name? Been a while. Since? I've said it. <laughs> Young guy. James. Why did you help us, James? The people who attacked you. What do you know about them? I know they steal kids. They took two last year. A common practice for them. They're at war up north. Their entire community against another. It's why they take people. To make them fight. Train them. Use them. Uh -huh. You would join their war. That's horrible. Yes. Why be at war with each other? That's why you I have helped plenty you. Plenty of walkers to be at war with. That's Thank one thing you. I don't get about a lot of this aftermath zombie apocalypse stuff. Like, Clem? Wanting to. Die. 
Kill all the other humans, and the few that are left. Wait. Throw it. Distract him. Works just as well, and nobody gets hurt. Not us. Not him. Still say kill every one of them you come across, but safe. If you can get yourself it was out of a difficult situation by to send the herd in great. to save you. I didn't want them to die. So, James, do you just hang around in the woods? Saving random people? After I left my group, I wandered. First time alone, ever. Hmm. Saw war everywhere. First against walkers, then against each other. Hoped it would be better here. Well, if he can just kind of be amongst the walkers, where are you from? Worry about it. Here? Or somewhere far away. Georgia. Long way from home. It feels like forever ago. It was. Yeah. So, yeah, where are you from? Supposed to be like maybe Washington. Right now. The city or the state? The city. Dad ran a food truck. I helped. <sighs> You've got a fever. His wound will need proper cleaning and medicine. If you're lucky enough to have any. The school has medicine, but I don't think they'll share it. That's why those people attacked you, isn't it? To get to that school. Yep, yep, it was. They'll destroy whatever they find. Bring more guns, more fighters. Take everyone inside. They won't be able to fight them off. Nope. They're all too big of pussies. Is he whining you about need medicine. Marlin? You have to go back, or you'll lose him. <sighs> I'll go back. Convince them to help AJ. They'll take us back once they see him. They wouldn't turn AJ away. You hope? They kicked him out on his ass. I'll help you get back. Well, That's already. The why would they? A few they... more hours and we'll go. Why would they? That's a few Not hours just... for you to sleep. <sighs> I'll stay awake. You don't have to. Sleep. I'll keep watch. Yeah. Okay. This guy I will. is pretty. What about you? I don't, don't know need if I would... it. Not tonight. I don't Rest know if well. I would uh, totally trust him in real life, but uh, for the game, I'll trust him. Good night. Not to. You know, Kill one of us off and rape Clementine and, you know, do the things that shitty people do. Ugh. Is he awake? Yeah, he's so hot. I can carry him. You're exhausted. No, yeah. I've got him. Okay. I guess she's got him. <sighs> For a little bit, seems to me like she's fading fast, though. But they're right there at the gates. 
Uh, hurt. Hang on. We're almost there. And the gate standing open. Walker! Violet! Lewis! They came back! <sighs> Look, you live out there alone, right? You could stay with us. Not ready. I don't want to take the mask off, though, now that they're free. Oh, he's gonna leave. Okay. Thank you. Bye. <clears throat> I thought that gate was open, but... I can't no. keep carrying you. We'll be inside soon. Rest now. Shit. Is he... Uh... He's alive. He was shot. He's got a fever. Come on, let's get him inside. I can't. There we go. It's okay, buddy. I got you. And we're back in. Let me see. I have what I need upstairs. Come on. We got the shrapnel out of him. We? It's a long story. All right. He's running a fever. Body's trying to fight infection, poor little guy. Ruby and Lewis will take care of him. You come with me. We can talk in the office. Clem, shh. You just try to rest, okay? We're gonna fix you right up. Clem! <laughs> AJ, listen to Ruby, okay? She'll look after you. Come on, what do we do when we're scared? When fear starts to get the upper hand, we push. we push through it. We don't let it take over. I'm good now. <laughs> One of the options was we tell it to fuck off. <laughs> Clementine, please. We need to talk. Happened out in the woods. I saw they had you pinned, and I. Shit, I got so crazy. When I heard you call for help, I didn't even think. I just let go of the arrow. I wasn't even sure if I'd hit her. And then Louis got shot six, six inches over. We'd be digging another grave. I really thought you were dead, Clem. It's just everything is so fucked right now, you know? It's really good to see you again. It's good to see you too. So you have the possibility just of having Mitch a and the relationship the with Violet. Lewis and I told them what happened in the woods. That woman who attacked you, Lily. So you do know her. We were wondering. Who the hell is she? I mean, I know you're not like with her group. She's horrible. She always has been. Her dad was a racist asshole, and she defended everything he did. Great. As if we didn't have more than enough dickheads already. Mm hmm She murdered someone in our group, gunned them down during an argument. A guy named Doug. He was really sweet. 
protected the group. It was right yep. at the start. I haven't seen one, Lily since. Or, well, I believe one. you. But there's something else. Lily said someone was with you at the gates. James. He saved me and AJ. Let us stay in his camp for the night. But why did you bring him here? You led him right to us. I mean, he's a stranger, Clem. Running into those two in the woods, it proved we can't trust anybody. Look, he's not with the raiders. He lives by himself in the woods. Willie said he was wearing, I don't know, animal skins or something. He was wearing walker skin. That's how he gets past herds. He can guide them, too. <sighs> wow. Okay. I mm -hmm. wouldn't have brought him here if I thought he was a threat. It's not that I don't trust you. I'm just worried about the others and what they might do. They didn't even get a chance to mourn Brody and Marlin before these child-snatching assholes showed up. True. And then you two come back after we thought you were dead. Now they're confused and no one knows how to feel about AJ. Violet, AJ is the least of their worries. I know, but everything is such a mess. They're scared and angry and they're looking for someone to blame. I yeah, mean, they kicked they you out. How am I supposed to make them change their minds about you? It was decided. Five to three against. I know it feels like it shouldn't matter, but they were afraid of you. Both of you. You don't have to. Let me convince them. James told me what Lily and Abel will do next. He said they'll get more people and guns and come attack us. Take everyone here. How the hell would he know? He's watched them for a while. They're at war with another community. They take people to fight for them. Is that what happened to Minnie and Sophie? They turned them into soldiers? Yeah, Apparently. it'll happen to us too if we don't stop them. Minnie didn't even like killing walkers. Yeah, well, she's probably been beaten into submission by now. Had her for a year. Look at this place. It's a fortress. With a little work, we could make this place really hard to attack. Do you actually know how to do that? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Ha 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 ha. Putting her past. We've got good, strong walls. We need to make them hard to climb over, so the raiders have to come in through the gates. We used to keep barbed wire in the greenhouse. This is where we should make our stand. There's only one way in, the front, and then there's the big central staircase. If we rig that path with traps, we can pull back here. Luring in our attackers. I like it. The courtyard's pretty wide open, not a lot of cover. We should flip the picnic tables, narrow down the pathways through it. So we'll know which way they're coming. At the very least, it'll give us protection if they get past these walls. Well, you guys don't use the greenhouse anymore, do you? No, we used to. Then we lost someone out there. Walkers overran the place and Marlin wouldn't let us go back. <laughs> Safe zone. We need to get that barbed wire so they can't climb the walls. Yeah. So guess who gets to go, go in and get it? Are you sure? <gasps> Any it's guesses? gonna be swarming Any guesses? with walkers uh, by now. Okay, what the hell's going, going on? Willie really told me she was back, but I was like, no way. Violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided. Shh. Would you keep it down? The little boy's asleep. His fever's already going down, Clem. He's gonna be okay. Good. Great. We're just giving them our medicine, too? Mitch, those people who shot Lewis, they're arming up to attack the school. We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. Use your head, Mitch. You saw AJ on your way in. If I was with the Raiders, why would they have hurt him like that? How do I know? Maybe he shot one of their friends. Mitch! I don't give a shit about Mitch. I'll just beat Clem's him Clem's going death to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Uh, no, life? I'm not. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go too. You know, to keep the peace. Fuck, Vi. Since when are you the one making the calls? <gasps> Since no one else stepped the fuck up. 
These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation. All right. See you there. I'm so sorry, little dude. Please be okay. I... <laughs> Seems to be sleeping fine now. All right. Kill some walkers, get some barbed wire. hour and five minutes into it um, I can't remember how long the last episode was they were really consistent guess I didn't realize how long it's been made by a different company how much so. it's changed uh, this ain't budging you gonna stand there sulking all day you're gonna do something useful well we need that barbed wire there must be another way in collecting collectibles kind of a waste do I really need to talk to Mitch I don't want to talk to Mitch Mitch is an asshole that window I bet we can get in there Good spot. Mitch, come here and give me a boost. Wait. Make her go first. We send the one we don't mind losing. That's an ugly thing to say. Vice says we need her help, right? She shouldn't mind sticking her neck out. I'll go first. I don't mind. Figured you'd fight it. Thanks, Clem. <laughs> Holler if one grabs you. Otherwise, we'll come as soon as you give the all clear. I guess we'll know when the door opens. slow on the E and missed it. Son of a bitch. Clementine. Not bad. Oh, look. Wild ginger. Eastern prickly pear. Jerusalem artichoke. False Solomon seal. Let's find that barbed wire and anything else that might be useful. Um, all of those 
herbs. You seem happy. You can only eat the same bland rabbit stew so many times before you go crazy. These herbs are going to do wonders for morale. You wait and see. And a lot of them are medicinal that she mentioned. If... Not that she necessarily knows that. What else? We got a shovel. Could be a weapon. Or use it to dig a grave. You weren't there when we dug the holes for Marlin and Brody. We had to use cups and bowls. Took forever. Lots of plants. Find something? Yep, maybe useful. Okay. Shears. Yes! Dibs! Pick a mushroom. Some mushrooms are edible. Did you find anything? What do you think? Okay, just asking. You know, the barbed wire idea is smart, I'll give you that. Those assholes try and climb our walls, they'll tear their guts out. Yeah? I kind of like to see that. Not seeing it here. Oh, pry bar. Good. wire a lot of it too that should keep the raiders from climbing our walls hey we can use these for what we can make bombs out of these bombs are you serious totally it's the kind of stuff i made back home he used to blow shit up that's why he's a troubled youth <laughs> guilty. guilty i just need some propane and something to create a spark and we'll have ourselves a nice little homemade explosive Alrighty then. Do I want to eat the mushroom? Why not? <coughs> <coughs> what? This was for science. All right. Uncover lab door. If I remember right, there's a science lab through that door. Maybe oh, there's propane yeah. in there. Come on, help me move this thing. Oh, suddenly we're best friends? Okay, let's see what's inside. Rose! What's going on? You all right? We had a scare. That's all. Oh no. 
What? Martin. Our nurse, Our nurse at the school. school. Okay, okay. She stayed when all the others left. God. She looks... You can barely recognize her. She's just... just like all the others. I'm sorry, Ruby. I... I just... wish I could make her look like she used to. One day we came out looking for food. Walkers attacked us. I thought we could fight them off, but there were just... there were so many. Ms. Martin told us to run, so we did. She taught me how to patch people up. Stitching, local anesthetics, painkillers, fever reducers. I don't think I can. I'll take care of her. All good Would you? I'm sorry. Yep, that's Clem's lot in life. Do the shit other people don't want to do. Are you okay? Yeah. Just need a minute. Come on, guys. Help me find that propane and we can get out of here. Yep, sure. Ugh, looks like piss. Dare you to drink it? Not in a million years. Wimp. Dare you to drink it, Wimp. Igniter. Uh, okay. Mitch, is this useful? Fucking A. I was hoping there'd be one of those. That's an igniter. We can use it to create a spark. Now we just have to find propane. We can blast those motherfuckers to hell. Alrighty then. Which... The beaker? You find anything? I... Actually, I don't know what this is. Um, propane. I want to look around before I do that. I know where it is. <laughs> Venus fly trap. That would be one of those collectibles, which I don't know why they bothered with in this game, but. You know, whatever. <sighs> Let's hope there's gas in it. Yeah, perfect. Uh, here. Good, fine. Now we have everything we need. We should get All back right. and tell the others. We have to bury Ms. Martin first. Barrier? Why bother? It's a walker. Help me drag it out back. We can burn it. No. Ms. Martin's the reason we're all alive. And? She deserves a proper burial here. Next to the greenhouse she loved. That way the others won't have to see her like this. She's been dead for years. There's no point. I'll help you bury her. It's the right thing to do for someone you cared about. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's not a her. It's a walker. Fine. Whatever. I'm not wasting my energy on that thing. Oh, more fertilizer over there. <clears throat> I'll put a stone in the graveyard. Back at the school. Bet Ms. Martin loved this place. She'll be happy here. I'll make sure everyone knows you helped me. That you've got a... a good heart. Under all that muck. 
Hey. <laughs> Think it'll be enough? Hopefully. And it means Lily and her people won't be able to climb the walls. They'll have to come through the gates. We can plan for that. Straight into a fiery explosion of death. Assholes won't know what hit them. That's if you do it right, bucko. We don't know that you will. And besides, it's the Walking Dead. Something's got to go wrong. I mean, really, the, the the title of the story is The Walking Dead. And they're not talking you about these. the zombies. I noticed his shirt got messed up when, you know. Where did you get dad. those? They were tens back when he got here. Should be about AJ's size. How's he doing? Better. His fever's down. Thank you for carrying him in. No problem. So, we've got a greenhouse again. And bombs. Mitch's idea. I figured. Violet says we'll start getting this place ready in the morning. Good. They all seem okay with letting you stay. For now, anyway. Yeah. While we get ready to fight. Yeah, I'm glad. All I've wanted is for them to forgive us. I said they're fine with you being here, at least till the raiders are gone. That doesn't mean they all like you again. Everyone else is okay with us staying. What about you? It's fine. Well, he gets better. And after that? I don't know, Clementine. Clem? Hey, kiddo. How do you feel? Better. Still hurts. I know. Hi, Louis. Hey, little dude. I missed you. Are we friends again? Just get some sleep, okay? <laughs> Louis. That was probably the best answer he could give. I'm sorry that you're hurting, and uh, it's our fault. It wasn't all you. Marlon, he... Forget it. Uh, I should go. All right. Oh, hey. We're up to seven viewers. I'm not Hello. mad at him anymore. Thank you, you for popping in. He helped carry me, and he was by my bunk when Ruby gave me stuff. Medicine. AJ, I was never mad at him. I understand why he acted that way. Why he wanted us gone. I don't. I was right. I know, kiddo. People <laughs> are complicated. Quick. Let's get a look at the shirts Lewis brought you. Then we'll sleep. It's been a long day. Yeah. No bullet holes. <laughs> James was nice. But I don't like sleeping on the ground. Me neither. Okay, and I also have a a thing to place. Place the mushroom. I wonder how long it'll last. And the Venus fly trap. There we go. And now I'll look at the shirts. Hey, this one's pretty cool. Mm, looks like Marlin's jacket. Oh, yeah. But it would still look good on you. Disco broccoli. How about this one? It looks like Tin's boots. Oh, yeah. I think it's the same character. Cool. All right. That one hmm. it is. This one will work. You can put it on when you feel better. Okay? Yeah. Time for sleep. I can't sleep with the light. I'll blow it out in a second. Yeah. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if it tries? 
bang. <laughs> now we know that's not the end of the episode. It's got to get into the fight itself and in some cliffhanger. Because again, we're the walking dead, not the walkers. has been through a lot of shit in her day while the rest of them have been sitting here in this cozy little school oh he got his shirt on Two weeks? Okay. Apparently we've done some work. Having a nightmare. Same one you used to have all the time. About what happened at the ranch. I'll be okay. Just give me a minute. Huh? Hey. You got a shiv. What do you have there? Did you have a bad dream too? You've been having them a lot lately. I feel safer like this, not sleeping. I want to stay up forever. I probably could. Well, you couldn't. Like 18 days, if I tried hard. I've never seen that knife before. Did you make it? When? I don't know, while you were busy. It must have taken days. I couldn't stop thinking about it until I made it. Ah! 
Here, let me help you back to bed. No. You don't have to keep checking on me. You always say, be tough. So I am. You say, be strong. And I will. All the time. I raised you to be strong, not stupid. I'm not. Shutting people out when they're trying to help you? That's stupid. Please, don't call me stupid. Did, she wasn't calling you stupid. The act is stupid. I'm sorry you had to do all the hard work. Showing them I'm good and smart. Smarter than them. I'm going to help you more, so you don't have to do everything. Where are you going? On patrol. Patrol? For danger. Bad people. Monsters. Whatever you have nightmares about. I don't love the idea, but okay. Go ahead. Be careful. Okay, I will. I'll guard you real good. I'll sleep better knowing you're watching out for me. <laughs> well, Clementine, you sure did raise a weird kid. Hmm, no kidding, Clementine. Maybe because you're the sort of person who talks to herself when she's alone. <laughs> <sighs> Some of us talk to ourselves when we're not alone. Well, that's not all that weird. <sighs> you ready to work today, kiddo? I know you were up late. Yeah, I went around the school eight times last night on patrol. Find anything? No danger. I just found a turtle that I thought we could keep. But it was dead and had bugs inside, so I thought, never mind. It's my turn to be lookout. All right. He's stepping up. I have other stuff I need to do. What's For good step? or bad. Nothing. It's just... It's important. God damn it, Lewis. Take this seriously for once in your life. I've been taking this seriously for fucking days. Almost two weeks. So has everyone. Get over yourself. Hey. I thought Lily and Abel would show up days ago. I wonder why they're holding off. Don't know. All I wanted was more time to prepare, but now this waiting sucks and everyone's on edge. Probably why help? they're doing it. Yeah, actually. Could you check on everyone and make sure they're doing shit right? Sure, I'm on it. Thanks, Clem. I should go board up the back hallway, since Lewis isn't gonna do it. Pretty clear message. Still wouldn't want to pledge to that. Hopefully this at least creeps the raiders out. What's going on? In a few weeks, or days, or hours, the raiders will be here. Burn down our place and steal or kill us. And then it won't matter how much I sucked at this. The raiders aren't going to burn anything or steal anybody. We'll stop it. You sound like Marlin. I mean, not about fighting, but when he was trying to cheer us all up. For sure. years, I sat around making stupid jokes, playing stupid games. While well, my best friend was left with all the responsibility, all the tough calls, all the sleepless nights, and eventually, a bullet in the head. 
but I didn't do a damn thing about it. And then when you tried to tell us what he was really like, and AJ shot him, I blamed you. Both of you. Yeah, you did. If I could take it back, I would. I knew that the day you got back. I, I still do. I forgive you. I understand why you did it. I'm not angry. He was my best friend, almost like my brother, but the things he did, they were fucked up. Yeah, they were. Here. Take two people away. You and... take it. Are you sure? I mean, it's Marlin's. Yeah, it was. And he used it to defend the school before... Before he stopped. Go ahead. Try it. Okay. In that direction, please. Get out the way, then. And just so you know, I'm totally laughing out loud when you miss. me to never piss you off while I'm standing at a moderate distance with a big red circle painted on my chest. You want to come back and practice more? Just let me know. Okay? Sounds good. And Clem, thank you. For all of it. Shot the shit out of that target. Tells me not to go up there yet. There was something. It was playing ominous music there. That's what told me not to go up there yet. Like that's what triggers the attack. We talk to this dickhead. Although he's hey, in a better mood what now. What are you I'm doing? Sure. Mm, test. Got to see if the bomb will go off. This little thing won't kill anybody. Just gotta see if it'll light. Yeah, it better. Our whole plan rests on that little thing. If they get in, I'll need you to set the bomb off while I distract them. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, something like that. I, I read that on one of those stupid inspirational posters. <laughs> School used to have them everywhere. As soon as things went to shit, I tore them all down. Stupid shit. Uh, could you? Uh, my hands all fucked up from messing with it all day. Stand back. Yeah. Quite a ways back. Fucking shit. If it doesn't work. Fucking shit! I'm sure you'll get it. Keep trying. It's not like I got all the time in the world to play scientist and figure this shit out. I'll figure it out. I just need more time. Alone time. To think. I get it. I'll leave you alone. Thanks, though. For helping. Okay, who else is around? Rosie? I hope it's beautiful where you are, Brody. Nah, I'm not going to spit on his grave. That's childish. Ms. Martin, thanks for protecting everyone.
Nothing left we can use. Wonder if they ever tried to rebuild it after it burned down. Talk to the kids. See, as soon as I get close to this, the music. Do you think Sophie and Minnie might be with them when they get here? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I'm doing watch, Clem, for danger. Like patrol? No, Clem. Lookout's totally different than patrol. How so? You don't walk. Oh, right. Okay. Back hallway secure. How is everyone? Okay, or, you know, a total fucking mess. They're ready for this. Really? Really, the school is defended, and everyone's eager to get the fight over with. Because you're boring and your idea is stupid. Oh, I'm being stupid? You're the one who can't think straight. If you could hear yourself... Guys, what the fuck? Violet told us to work on the traps together, but a sim won't listen to anything I say. That doesn't mean you have to scream at each other. Stay out of this. I have an idea for duffel bags filled with bricks. We drop them on the raiders if they get to the admin building. Willie here wants to use a giant, idiotic swinging log to take out one raider at most. It's completely stupid. You're stupid. You're being childish. I am not. I'm trying to help. Uh, Sim is right. We should use his brick trap. It sounds more practical. Mine's practical, too. No, it isn't. It's exactly the kind of thing a child would think of, especially a child who has no idea what he's up against. <laughs> what the shit? Dude, you okay? Yeah, we'll kill each other before the raiders even get a fucking chance. Right, what we need is something to break the tension. You had to choose one, so. Hey, buddy, how's it hanging? Dude, fuck off. Sulking in the corner isn't gonna help us fight off the raiders. Or turn that frown upside down. You get more annoying every day. Regardless, I've come up with a plan to make everybody feel better. And that plan is a game. Come on, we gotta play. Okay, I'm coming. Well, we haven't played a game in weeks since that night with Marlin. I mean, if you wanna go ask Ruby to come play, I don't mind waiting. Shut up, dude! I swear to God. You've got a crush on Ruby? What are we playing? Truth or Dare. You don't use cards in Truth or Dare. You do in this version. Everyone draws. Highest card gets to ask, Lois card has to answer. Just like we did before. A three. <laughs> this should be good. Let's see. Truth. Mary, fuck, kill. Bye. Fine. Mary, flip, kill. Ruby, a sim, or James, that guy who saved you. <sighs> oh my god. You gotta answer. Them's the rules. Let's see. I would marry... Uh. Uh. James. He sounds mysterious. Funny. You pronounce horrifying differently than I do. Didn't you say you wore skin? Like, human skin? Whatever makes you happy, Clem. I would, um... Flip. Flip. Flip, 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 flip. Ruby. <laughs> what? Sorry. I was just imagining her glare while Clem propositions her. <laughs> what? You sure that's a good idea? What's wrong with you? She picked. Ruby gets a flip. 
So that means you're killing. This is amazing. A sim. Oh, thank God. What? <laughs> You'd rather die than marry your flip clip. I, uh, no. I didn't mean it like that. This is great. We're laughing, <laughs> we're bonding. It's a nice break from thinking about homicidal assholes sneaking into our homes to kidnap us. Not if you bring it up. On to round two. I okay. win. And poor Sim loses. Definitely a dare. Uh, okay. Do your worst. You have to ask Ruby for a kiss. Seriously? The most legitimate of dares. I think we all learned something about our good friend Asim today. Mainly that he has no romantic charm whatsoever. Shut up. Look sharp, y'all. It's time for round three. <laughs> I got it. We've been pretty hard on poor Asim here, teasing him about sweet Ruby. Seems only fair we mercilessly tease someone else about unrequited love. So, Clem. Anyone here you like like? Seriously? Like like? What are you, six? Seven, thank you. Seriously? Putting me on the spot isn't cool. You did it to a sim. It's okay, Clem. You don't have to answer. And blam! That's how a game dies. Okay. A sim! You've got the high card, and the loser is Tennessee. What's something you've never told anyone because you were afraid they'd make fun of you? You got this. I, um, I think, I think walkers won't always be around. They'll go away someday, because the world goes in cycles, right? Ice Age, Stone Age, um, some other ages. So it's like that. This age will end, and another one will start. An age without walkers, like it used to be. It'll be better. Why is everyone looking at me like that? That's really beautiful. I never thought of it that way. What's wrong, AJ? Uh, I just don't know what it's like. All of you do, but I don't. I don't remember a time before monsters. You know what, little dude? It's okay that you don't. Believe me, the world before this one was pretty shitty. And that feels like a good place to call it. We should Compared finish up our work anyway. Now, it's getting dark. If you're in, uh, you're on lookout. I'm not yep. sure I would Clementine's call got it after me. Can I come? Of course you can, little guy. I would call it shitty. A whole lot of people think it's shitty that don't know what shitty is. Hey. Hey. You maybe want to help me with the brick trap? Yeah, I got some ideas. Cool. I'm sure they'll help. Sorry I punched you. It's okay. It's a pretty good punch. I'm headed to the bell tower. I want to check out our defenses on the back wall before bed. Do you need help? Sure, if you want. You could always help me instead. I'm on piano duty. What? I gotta get in some practice before one of you decides to chop it into firewood. I've got a project I want to try, but I need a second person. So this is your moment. You can either decide you want to have your little relationship with Lewis or Violet. I went with Violet last time. I've played through this one other time and I went with Violet. So I made Clementine a lesbian. We'll go with Lewis this time. No. 
She's not bi non-binary. She's a lesbian. Or she's straight. One of the two. Definitely playing better than he was early on in the game. Thought I could tickle the ivories one last time before all hell breaks loose. That's a good idea. Haven't heard music in a while. Many people would say you're not about to hear it now. So, how do you feel about our imminent deaths? We won't necessarily die, of course. We could also be kidnapped, injured, maimed, maybe eaten. The possibilities are endless. I actually feel pretty good about it. The fight, not our deaths, because we're not gonna die. You're so sure. You have to be, right? So, what's this project you needed me for? Sounds awful, right? All we need to do is tune it. That's why I need you. He wants to get tuned up by Clementine. When I get the signal, play the A key. Uh, yeah, which one's the A key? You know, the A key. Next to the B key. After the G key. How'd that happen? Car door. Slammed on it. Well, you can play just as well with nine and a half. Good. That definitely helped. Now press the pedals while I make some more adjustments. Great! That part's golden. Quick, now blow on the strings. I know, sounds weird, but blow on them. Cooling the temperature helps set them in harmony. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Okay, great. That did nothing, because that's not at all part of how you tune a piano. <laughs> but it was funny! It could have done something, on like a molecular level. Or maybe it's good luck to blow on strings. <laughs> I can't believe I fell for that. It's good to see you like this. Okay. What are you playing? And don't say a piano. A song that I wrote. Really? What's it called? I don't know yet. There. First time played. You should mark the occasion. Okay. You done tattooing that piano? I think you've got a future in Whitlin. I like saying Whitlin. Wait then. Okay, I'll stop. Uh, yeah, why not? Oh, that's a that that's a potato. It's a heart. Yep, I see. It's a heart. That's super cool. Really cool. So, hey, I'm gonna dig myself into a deep hole from which I'll never emerge. Cool, cool. Huh. Time to get serious. Serious. Wow, you feeling okay? Not really, nope. Mm -mm. Thanks <laughs> for being here, listening, blowing on the strings, coming here to help me with my project even after everything I put you through and everything I had to work through for myself. Everyone hears the jokes, the piano, and after that, they stop listening. You didn't. So, um... I like you a lot. Like, like you. As more than a friend. <laughs> no jokes? Nothing? Figured out what to call the song. Clementine, obviously. You know, because I like fruit. And I like you even more, so... There. 
Gotta admit, of all the things I saw coming, you having a crush on me was not it. <laughs> Clem, you out here? I have to go. I've got lookout duty. Well, you wouldn't want to miss that. Sounds like way too much fun. Yeah. So it basically went about the same as the Violet one. Sitting next to her up in the bell tower. And yada, yada, yada. So now I've explored both versions. The Raiders. That guy. He's gonna be with them. Abel. Yeah. You're back. Son of a bitch shot I you. I fucking really hate that fucking dickhead shit fuck. Whoa, that's a little much, don't you think? <laughs> no. Well, I do. <laughs> Try thinking about something else. Count the monsters you see. Same number as before. Three, four. AJ, it's okay if Abel frightens you. You know how to control that. There's ten monsters out there. He doesn't frighten me. But when he comes here, I call dibs. I'm the one that kills him. Okay? Okay. Really? Yes, I can't promise you how things are gonna go. But if it's possible, you get first shot at him. Wow. What, you thought I'd say no? Yeah. I'm grown up now. No, you aren't. But I'm close. No, you're not, but... <laughs> Clem, I see something. Not a walker? Here, you look too. Yeah. That's not a walker. Good job, AJ. Come on, we have to tell the others. Raiders? Yeah, they're here. Shit. Well... In case it all goes to hell and I don't see you again during the fight. Just know, I have no idea what that D stands for on your hat. Don't tell me. I prefer it to remain a mystery. But I'm gonna pretend like it stands for don't die. So just, um, listen to your hat, okay? <laughs> We're ready. They've got at least four more people all carrying guns and carts, probably to carry people away. Oh no. Assholes. I can't believe they're really here. If they get inside, I'll keep them focused on me. That should give Willie and Mitch time to set up the bomb. I'll set it under those carts. It'll work. I promise. If they manage to get in, we fall back. To the admin building. Exactly. Right into our traps. They're in for a rude fucking surprise. Those duffel bags will break bones. Easy. So, uh, any final words of wisdom? You've faced them in one, after all. Well, sort of. Lewis, shut it. No matter what happens, look out for ah, oh, shit, shit, fuck! Oh, no. Shit! Shit! Fuck! Shit! Hide! Now! Omar! I got him! AJ, hide! Come on! Hide! I know you! No! Open up, kid! It doesn't have to get any uglier! My bow! Go! Go. I'll be alright. You don't have much time! Go!
Okay. It's okay. Just try not to move or make noise. The fuck is all this? Focus. They're just scarecrows. Guess they took this seriously. Spread out. Okay. Who do I get to shoot first? Lily! Move and I'll shoot! You won't get the chance! Where's our new recruit? They're not yours! Search the yard. If Clementine moves, shoot her. We'll find them, Clementine. And then we'll take them. And you. I don't think you want to kill me. Just like you didn't want to in the woods. Shut up! You can't fucking do it, can you? You've changed. I grew up. I can see that. God, you are just like him. Lee would have been heartbroken knowing he taught you all the wrong things. That the sweet little girl he protected turned out like this. You're right, Lily. I am just like him. And if he saw me now, he'd be proud of who I am. Why? Because you pick fights you can't win? Right. I'm sure that made all his sacrifices worth it. Get out! If you won't help me find the others, I'll find someone who will. We've recruited from this school before. Minnie wanted to come along tonight to tell you how well she's adjusted to her life, how happy she is. She said she had a girlfriend back here. Friends she missed, one guy who could always make her laugh no matter what. And her little brother. She missed him the most. Shit. Where are they? Let me take you to them. I can't. I just want them back. Please. You'll be happier where they are. <laughs> no! Cooperate. <laughs> 
little chat, you and me, alone. Ah! Fucking bitch! Clem, I can't. Stay back! Whenever I see someone like you, weak, small, afraid, and still alive, well, bet a lot of folks die to get you here. Dibs. Lily. Shit, this should be easy. I'll see you in hell. You'll be there for a good long time before I show up. I don't mind waiting.
damn it. Them. Sim and Omar and God damn it, Lewis. I know. We're going after them. If we knew where to look, I'd smash down their walls myself. But we don't. Well, no. we've got someone who does. end of the episode two hours and 14 minutes little girl little girl don't lie to me tell okay, me for whatever reason it's not connecting did you sleep last um, pleased when you accepted her help to stand where the sun <sighs> Uh, Violet was relieved when you and Adrian returned to the school. Violet was disappointed that you chose to spend time with Lewis instead of her. Abel was outraged when you told Violet to shoot Lily. Abel was impressed when you taunted Lily with shooting her. Ruby was appalled when AJ said he was justified in killing Marlon. Ruby was consoled when you expressed sympathy over finding this ghoul nurse. AJ felt capable when you let him go on patrol. He was, he was satisfied after he got dibs on killing Abel. Mitch was exasperated when you told him to watch his mouth at the funeral. Mitch was irritated when you decided to help Ruby bury the walker. James felt helpful when you let him feed AJ the apple. James was attentive when you said you're from from Ken was reassured when he said it was sweet of him to make drawings. Ken was helpful, felt helpful, hopeful after sharing his Little belief that the girl, Walker age will end someday. Girl, Lewis was com comforted when you said you were sorry you and AJ hurt him. Lewis was astonished when you confessed you had feelings for him. Lewis felt betrayed when you allowed him to be taken after spending time together. Yeah, well, whatever, man. I had to make it quick. I had to make a quick quick. Decision. Omar was kidnapped. Rosie was just pressed after you ignored her. I don't know when I ignored her. Willie was annoyed you didn't 
choose his trap to defend against the Raiders, and Asim was kidnapped. And I found two of the three collect collectibles that I really don't give too much of a shit about. So, we're going to continue. We're not doing another session tonight. Um, we're going to end it there. We'll do one session. How many sessions? How many episodes are there? There are only four. There are only four. I, there's usually five. I was assuming there would be five. Okay. Well, so we've only got two more to go. So, there you have it. Um, two more episodes. And if I remember right, the next one where you're trying to get in and save the people is a bastard. It's a timing thing. It's really critical and it's just... A... There will be screaming and much drinking of adult beverages during that episode. So, we'll see you then. Tomorrow night is um, Dishonored 2, um, Part 2. Uh, salty little dude, hey. Uh, I was just ending my session. I already shut the game down. So I am sorry that you missed it, but this I'm only doing one, one episode per session on this game, and the episode literally just ended, and I was just telling people what I'm playing tomorrow night. So um, I'm sorry, but uh, that's that for the night. So um, I was going to see if there's anybody to raid if you want to stick around for a minute. Um, I, uh, uh, well, Always Hoodie only has one viewer. Um, he's playing NBA 2K, but I really don't care about that game. But I'll give him a, a, a little bit of a raid uh, just because why not? Um, I'll lurk for a while. So if you want to stick around for a minute, we'll just flip this raid right over to him. Critical Role is also going, but they don't need my help, so I'm not giving it to them. Um, I know Critical Role is people just go crazy over them. I could not possibly give two shits about Critical Role. That's just me. So anyway, here we go. We're going over to watch some basketball. Oh, and I've got that tab muted. I'm still here. Oh, I'm open. Oh, we all cutting. Ah. He said first did that. Are you guys like that. dotting each other? Like yep. I just wanna know how the game works, like make a